Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. A while back, I made a video explaining to you guys why I think workstation class machines make great servers. In particular, I showcased my HP Z840 workstation. And in that video, one of the reasons I mentioned was the ability to convert the internal SAS ports into an external SAS connection so that you can expand your storage into a JBOD chassis. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you the kit you need to do that JBOD conversion, and I'll demonstrate how to install it in my HP Z840. Now, before we get started, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that more people will benefit from this video. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos on workstation PCs. All right, let's get into it. We'll start with an unboxing of the external cable kit, which I have right here. All right, so this is HP part eight, or sorry, six, eight, four, five, six, eight, dash zero, zero, one. All right, let's open this up. All right, so in here we have some foam, a cable. Let's take this out. That's kind of interesting packaging. All right, so everything is in this bag here. And let's open this up. So there's this special SAS cable that can, has a external SAS port. So that's an SFF. Here, let me actually take the uh, wrapping off of it. All right, looks like there's a rubber band. Let's take this off. All right, so there is a SFF 8088 port that connects to four uh, SATA connections. And that's because if you remember the onboard LSI SAS controller in the HP Z840, uh, as well as the Z820, by the way, this kit will also apply to the Z820 and the Z800, but the onboard SAS controller uses SATA ports for the SAS lanes. And so this is going to plug into the four uh, vacant ports and convert that into an external SFF8088 connector. Now, you might be looking at this connector and saying, hey, what is this thing? It's a tiny little connector. Where does it plug into? There's actually a dedicated slot in the chassis of the Z840, the Z820, and Z800 for this connector. Now, if you are not going to use that in that particular connector, they do also give you this bracket, which allows you to install, let me open this up and show you guys, it'll allow you to install this connector into this bracket and there's a screw in the bag here that you can use to, let me see if I can get that together there. So there's a screw you can install to basically permanently attach it to this PCI bracket. And then this bracket can go into any vacant PCI slot. But with the Z840, Z820, Z800, I think it's actually better just to use the dedicated slot so you're not uh, occupying one of your PCI slots just for this connector. All right, so after you watch this video, if you guys are interested in this kit, uh, you can pick this up from my eBay store. I'll have a link in the video description below. All right, let's get this installed. I'll be right back with my HP Z840. All right guys, so here's my HP Z840. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right, so we're gonna have to remove this PCI cover over here in order to get to the SAS ports. And so down here, we have one, two, three, four vacant uh, SATA connectors, but these are actually SAS lanes connected to the onboard LSI SAS 2308 controller. And so the first four are connected to the four drive bays, and these last four are vacant, which we can use with this cable kit that we just unboxed. 
So before I connect the SATA ports, I'm actually going to connect this 8088 uh, connector to the chassis. All right, so this is gonna go into this port right here in the back at the bottom. And basically there's a little hook on this side and there's a screw hole. So we'll just connect the hook on that side and then bring this towards the screw hole. And let me go get that screw. We'll tighten that down. All right, so here's that screw. And it is a Torx 15 uh, screw head. So we're gonna need a Torx 15 uh, driver here. So hopefully you guys can see that. And just put this on the screw on the screwdriver. And let's go ahead and tighten this. Or secure the screw here. All right, so that secures the 8088 uh, external SAS port to the chassis. And we can do this without actually occupying one of the PCI slots, so we can leave that untouched and vacant for whatever else we might need. Okay, so now we gotta connect the SATA connectors to the ones that are on the motherboard. And they are staggered, so let's see, and they're also numbered, I believe, let's see here. Yep, so zero the shortest one is zero one two three which is the longest one so i will attach three to the port that's furthest away all right let me just organize these cables a little bit here all right so let's go with three right there and two right there and one and zero. All right, so now I can just move these cables. There are uh, zip tie um, down here to hold these cables. So if you really wanted to, you could cut these zip ties and basically tie this cable down so that it's kind of laying flat um, towards the floor of the case. So basically, I'll just put them down like that for now. And, um, and that's it. So other than that, we can basically cover this up with the cover here. And, yep. So now that we have an external SFF8088 port, basically all you need from this point on is to get yourself an external JBOD chassis. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do this. If you're going to keep this Z840 in a tower configuration as it normally is, you can get a separate tower uh, chassis that you can fill up with drives and build into a SAS JBOD and then basically connect this to that SAS JBOD. If you want to go rack mount, there is a rack mount kit that will convert the Z840 into a rack mount configuration. And then you can buy your typical uh, rack mount um, JBOD chassis like the Dell MD1200, for example, uh, and then connect this SAS uh, port to that uh, JBOD chassis to expand your storage. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you're interested in picking up this cable kit, I'll leave a link to my store listing down below. If you found this video informative, please give it the thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see how I build up this HP Z840, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, check out my eBay store. I have the best selection of IT mode HPA SAS controllers and many other awesome gear for your server builds. Link in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a great day guys. Bye bye.